I'm in Malaysia already. After the long wait from the immigration officer, I'm finally here with my milk tea. But unfortunately, I can't drink it because it's not allowed for now. Anyway, I'm heading to my hostel and after that, I think I'm gonna see what I can do here in Malaysia and I'll give you some tips, the cheapest way to go around and so on and so forth. And by the way, I took a taxi and taxi here costs for 12 ringgit from the JP Central to my hostel. I'll show it to you later on. This will be my first time to go in a hostel alone. So, wish me luck. So I'm here now in Malaysia and uh, newfound friends. This will be my first night here in Malaysia and we'll check around the area if there's anything to do because currently right now the weather is not so friendly. It's not raining but somehow it's cloudy. So we'll see. before I start working is it's fortunately at the same time unfortunately because I book a 10 days um, Airbnb and then suddenly I have to go back like I was told by the boss that I have to return and stop working in it. It's so amazing here though. So I'm gonna make the best out of it and vlog everything here in Malaysia. two malls around the area and as you can see this place is actually pretty cool like you can see the common room this is like their common room where you can accept guests or you can do your work like if you're teaching if you're teaching English it's really quiet so it's like a private common room over here but of course you need to kind of like inform the reception if you want to have it like, I don't know, for private. I don't know if it costs or not. And also over here, there's another one, which is super cool. What I like the most here is the light over there. It's like, that's lively. Around here, there's like a kitchen, pantry. Oh, okay, this is pretty neat. This is what you can, so if you visit Malaysia, this is something that you would want to be in. A very affordable price. And look at the brands over there. I'm really gonna book it again. Definitely. Take a rest for now because I've been walking all day long. From Singapore, I have to go to this taxi stand. It's not really a long walk. It's like a, a minute or two. No, just a minute. You just have to go down and there's already a taxi stand there. And you can save money actually. You don't have to haggle with some 
rip off taxi drivers. The good thing about that is they will give you a receipt. So if you have complaints, you have proof. I'm really loving this place. I wish I could have booked um, more than one night, but unfortunately, I have to go to another place a few minutes from here, maybe 15 minutes or 16 minutes from here. The reason why I booked that because I wanna see which one is nicer, Airbnb or hostels. Experience being in one room with a lot of people and now I'm experiencing it but you can't really feel it because it's like a private hostel. You're in bunk beds, but you can feel that there's a lot of people because there's like a really thick curtain and it's not a cheap curtain. Like it covers your, your space. It's a single bed, but it's much bigger. I think that's the good thing here in Malaysia. Everything is very cheap. When it comes to hostels, it's very affordable. It ranges from five US dollars and above. Here, it happens that they have like a promo wherein it's less something 15 or 20%. So I only booked it for eight Singapore dollars. So that's like around five USD per night. But that one doesn't include breakfast. But come on, the breakfast here is only five ringgit. And you're next to a lot of grocery stores you have two malls, you have 7-Eleven, and you have also toast box. Yeah. So you can take your, your breakfast there. But for me, I always make sure that I have water in my backpack and I always make sure that I have like some snacks. And when I say snacks, cookies, a lot of cookies and chocolates. 